You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey folks, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2014 here from beautiful sunny Las Vegas. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. Uh, last night was, uh, there was a lot of beautiful Las Vegas hanging all over Phil. Yes. At the meetup. And we might have ridden some bulls. And there were, there was bull, <laughs> mechanical <laughs> bull riding. I lasted 30 seconds, Galore. Phil maybe 40, Kevin maybe 45, Georgia a minute 40. Georgia is the uh, is the undisputed king queen of bull riding. You know, she 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 is a two-time Canadian Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion who walks around is with belts. Really? Yes, belts on her shoulders like Hulk Hogan. Wow. I kid you not. Wow. Uh, okay. Well. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of Jiu-Jitsu champions. Yes. We actually have Martin here from Narrative. You're a jiu-jitsu champion, right? Good God, yeah. can you imagine? I actually do Aikido a lot. Oh, oh yeah. do you really? Yeah, protect your wrists, protect your wrists. Well, welcome to the show. Thank Thanks you. for coming on. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, some, some of our guests come up and they're, you know, a little taken back by all the cameras. I get the feeling that you're not very camera shy. <laughs> oh, comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because, I mean, you're walking around with a camera on you 24-7 pretty much, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> He's I do. Bro we're broadcasting him as he is broadcasting us. <laughs> That's right. So let's talk about it. You, you, have, you are the CEO and the man behind the scenes for the narrative, do we, what do we call it, camera? The narrative yeah, camera? Yeah, so the product is called the narrative clip. The narrative yeah, clip. Yeah, Okay. And uh, so it's a camera and actually a GPS as well. So the, one of the world's smallest digital cameras and one of the world's smallest uh, GPS loggers nice. in the world. Yeah. So this is it. You've got it just clipped to your shirt, and it looks like a little, like yeah. I'd say, one and a quarter inch square, yeah. and it's got a tiny little opening on it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's it. Tiny round rect of awesome. And why would anyone want to clip that to themselves? What does it do? For me, uh, it allows me to be present in any moment. Re like, whatever I do, I hang out with my kids, I hang out with friends, and I can be fully present with them, 100% uh, there, so to speak, but still be able to capture all the memories from those occasions. So it's a really good way to uh, really uh, get the most out of life and not having to think about like Facebook and Instagram while you're there. So you're saying this, right? Because uh, you're like this, either recording or you've got Google exactly, Glass on yeah. your face or yeah. you've got something yeah. between you and the real world. And I don't want technology to be a barrier between me and my kids and so on. I want that, just, I, I want technology to give me superpowers, yeah. but not to take over my life. Yeah, that's true. I don't really, I, I guess I had not really thought about it that way, but w you're right, when we are, when we are somewhere, and we're having to stop to document the moment, yeah. we're actually missing the moment. Yeah, we're, we're, we're documenting, yeah, we're missing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we're not you. there, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so the narrative clip, uh, just so people understand, because some people have never heard of it, they don't know what it yeah. is, it's actually a little device with a camera built into yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And what are you doing? Are you taking video, are you taking pictures? What's it doing? So it's still, uh, taking stills, uh, takes two photos a minute, uh, five megapixel photos, uh, with a with a GPS location attached to them. Okay, so they're and geotag. Yeah, and it, it has uh, two days of battery life, even though it takes two photos a minute. So you get basically two thousand photos of each day of your life. Wow, that's a lot. And how is it in? You know, so I got a, I got a, I'm, I'm a photographer. That's my hobby. So yeah. I think in terms of things like image quality and yeah. brightness and all that. How do you, how do you deal with the fact that sometimes it's dark out, sometimes it's light out, sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's whatever. You yeah. know, moving fast. Yeah, yeah. We had to deal, we have to deal with the limitations that any camera has. Like your smartphone is going to need, it's need uh, flash sometimes. This doesn't have flash. Uh, but we have uh, great low light performance. Like I was, we were at the Bellagio last night. These are like. Um, oh, those are the, sh that's from yeah, the, yeah. These, the shots from the camera. Uh, th these are at, at night. And uh, you can see that uh, we have great performance uh, all over. Yeah, that's and actually re very reasonable. Yeah. Of course, they are, the photos are going to be much better in daylight, <coughs> much more colorful and so on. But uh, 
uh, what are you looking at now? Okay, yeah. you, we skipped right into something here, but you've got an iPhone. Exactly. And it looks like an app? Yeah, exactly. So 2,000 photos a day are, of course, far too many to yeah. go through. We want this to be effortless, 100% effortless. So we organize the photos for you. We bring up the keyframes, like the, the best photos representing your day. Oh, Chris, um, how do they go from the clip onto the phone? Yeah. Oh, there is a USB port here, okay. uh, right on the, on the camera. Uh, you attach it to your laptop. There's an uploader, very much like like uh, Dropbox in nature. Or, yeah, drop it's very no buttons to press, nothing. You you wear the camera, you plug it in, then you wear it again. Nothing in between. Okay. And what happens is the photos are uploaded to the cloud. Uh, you can um, get a, a timeline of the keyframes uh, of your day. You can tap into the keyframes and get. Uh, access to all of the photos. We even have a couple of layers here, so I can bring out even the really bad ones that are uh, void of any information at so all. How does it know the good ones? Is it doing some sort of algorithm? Is it yeah, exactly. So we look at the contents of the photos uh, and bring out the ones with technical quality and where we can see that there are details or even uh, faces that we can de detect in the photos. So by doing that, you try to pull out all the ones that might be the best moments for them. Is there a percentage that it'll pull out out of that 2,000, like an average exactly. number you'll get? So, yeah, so the timeline is like 10 photos, or, or okay. 10 moments, as we call it. And, uh, and then you, then you uh, can Something tap manageable. in. manageable. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. and when you look at it, it's going to be kind of mirroring what you saw. So I imagine you look at it, you know instantly when yeah. roughly that was. And if you wanted to search for something, you kind of know reference in your brain. I think I think what I'm looking for was before we did that or after we did that. Exactly, and yeah. you could and then you could I mean if it's only showing you ten, you can zoom in, in between them or yeah, what? Exactly. Uh, so so um, all the photos are accessible um, if you tap into one of those ten. But what I can do um, a year from now, when I'm not no longer remembering like exactly what dates were I at CES. Perhaps that's a good occasion, but like when I was in Berlin yep. last time, what what days was that? And the GPS what was that restaurants. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the, the GPS. Yeah, that's the right. Yes, can make it searchable. Uh, th this is currently not in the app, but that's something that we are working on right now. So I can just punch in Las Vegas and get right here. I can punch in Berlin or a street name to get to that restaurant I'm looking for the name of. There was a lot of moments at CES. For example, our good friend Phil Nickinson, when he went bull riding, the first time he mounted, he went right over it. Oh. And none of us had cameras ready, no. but this- We missed honest, the whole damn thing. Yeah, and it, like, this, you're, it's taking the photos for you, so it takes all of that pressure off, but you exactly. don't have to try to reach for your camera, fumble, swip yeah. up the thing. You actually can as well. If you, if you wear it like this um, uh, on, on your jacket uh, or your shirt, you can double tap it to take an extra photo out of sequence. Oh, nice. Uh, so when I do that, uh, you can see as well that the uh, lights up the diet to show the battery life. Uh, I've worn this uh, almost the entire day. It's still- And it still has three quarters yeah, of its three battery. Quarters, so it's, it's got two days of battery life. So it's just, you don't even have to charge. Even you, you can go late at night. Uh, it takes just half an hour to charge and transfer the photos to your laptop, then you can go again. What do you think about, I mean, Google Glass has been in the news because some people have worn them into restaurants and been politely asked to take them off. Yeah. This, people probably wouldn't notice it as <laughs> much as they notice Google Glass. They probably would How do you still deal with that issue of you know, informing people maybe or, yeah. or being in public places, change rooms maybe? Yeah, exactly. So, so um, first off, uh, what we, how we thought about that, it's that privacy and integrity, it's as a technology maker, you can say, that we ignore all that, that's up to our users, yep. I'm, I'm making the We're gun. We're agnostic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Gun don't shoot people, yeah. <laughs> people shoot people, yeah. and stuff like that. We don't take that route. We want to take the responsibility of designing a product that people can be comfortable with, not, not only the person wearing it, but other people around. So we, what we did, uh, for example, you mentioned, mentioned changing rooms. Mm -hmm. Like, if I go into the gym, if there was a small on-off button here, uh, and I switch it off, other people around me would still be uncomfortable with me having a camera. That's true. So we have a gesture-based on-off button instead. Instead of a switch, you take it off. When it's dark for the camera, like you put it down or in your pocket, that's when it's off. Okay. Otherwise, it's nice. on. So we, you form automatically the habit of, okay, I'm not taking photos, I take it off. I like that. Yeah, it's natural. Okay, so uh, I've I have I've heard of your product before. I remember when you first launched the product. I always thought it was very interesting. I thought 
it was the kind of thing that some people would get benefit out of, and I did not think it was going <laughs> to be appropriate for me. I'm being honest, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but now, no, that's different, okay? <laughs> Dave's, Dave's talking my ear because we have drop cams in yeah. our office, which are always on cameras and we have them public so pe like everybody can watch us work yeah i don't know why you guys watch that <laughs> but they do they watch us work this is different and i i did not i didn't understand why i it would be valuable for me but just in talking to you now i think i want one i think i would wear one yeah i'm imagining like you said with phil yeah. last night i'm thinking of like for example when we finish today we're going to tear all of this down and then we're packing it up and driving back to Dallas, it would be cool to capture that. But how would we do that? Absolutely. We're working, we can't do Your that. Hands are exactly. yeah. But yeah. if we clip it, that's cool. So I have one last question and then we gotta wrap it up. But we're looking at this app on iOS. Yeah. How about Android? Because I've got an Android phone. Android, 100% there. Yes, yeah. okay, all right, cool. How much does this cost if we want to buy one? Uh, so the uh, uh, app includes storage of out, up to one gig per, per day. And uh, to include that storage in the price of the device puts it at $279, available from getnarrative.com. So $279, getnarrative.com, you can upload up to a gig per day. Yeah, included in the price. Included in the price, and then, oh, I'm sorry, one last question. <laughs> I just have so many questions. What if I wanted to make my stream public? Maybe for a period of time or something. Yeah. You know, like Callie and Renee yeah. and Rich and I, R Renee and I, we, we, we're public people. So what if I wanted to go walking around uh, CES and I don't mind having it on and just leaving it public? Can, yeah. Is that possible? Uh, in this uh, generation of the camera, uh, the battery is far too small to push that much data through okay. the air. Okay, in real, oh yeah. yeah. So, so uh, with this version, you plug it in to unload the photos. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. And then, could we make those photos public? I know I'm. I yeah. know we're wrapping yeah. up. But yeah, <laughs> exactly. You you can share it to Facebook and Instagram, and and all that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, we're way over, but you guys can tell that I'm digging this. Done into <laughs> it. Very cool. I want to get one now. So uh, uh, stick around. We've got a lot more coverage coming at you here. Well, not a lot. We're, no, getting, we're getting close. We're getting close to the end of the end of the broadcast, but we do have more. So stick around. We'll see you soon.